great white shark has probably the most infamous pair of jaws in the animal kingdom. Computer models have put the great white shark's bite at approximately 4,000 pounds per square inch. That's a massive bite, but compared to its body size, it's disproportionately small. The great white shark is a large animal, with a good length of 6.5 meters and a weight somewhere between 1 to 2 tons, this is a predator with a lot of power. But let's compare that to another predator, the Nile crocodile who weighs in at just over 200 kilograms and with a length of 4 meters. It has an actual measured bite force of 3,700 pounds per square inch. Two very close numbers, but the animals couldn't be further apart in size, with our great white shark being a lot heftier. Jaws are only useful if you can get your food into them. And for the great white shark, she has a lot of equipped sensors that help her detect her food. The great white shark has all of the traditional sensors that you or I have, but she has an extra sense, a sense called electromagnetism. Located on the front of her nose are tiny jelly-filled pores called the ampullae of Lorenzini, and these are what the shark uses to detect electrical pulses in the water. As your heart beats right now as you watch this, you are giving off an electrical pulse. It may be very small and very faint, but it's there. If you move your muscles, they also give off an electrical pulse. For example, in this clip I shot back in 2018, this young white shark is incredibly curious about my GoPro. Curious enough to try and take a taste of it. This little GoPro is giving off a tiny electrical pulse, which the shark and Zampulai can detect. As the shark is swimming by, it detects the electrical pulse given off by the GoPro, and therefore it triggers something in the shark's mind telling it that this might be something that is alive. Also, the case which the GoPro is in is reflective, reflecting sunlight, almost like how fish scales reflect sunlight. These two combinations put together tell the shark that this is a potential meal. So, Unlike most fish, the great white shark has a secret weapon. It has a specialized blood vessel structure called the counter current exchanger. This allows the animal to keep its body temperature warm, warmer than the water around it, even when the water is cold. Being somewhat warm blooded gives the great white shark the ability to go after trickier prey. The Cape fur seal is a perfect example of this. Very hard to catch, but very high reward. So the great white shark needs to use its mind just as much as its might. The seals will leave routinely, going from the island to the open ocean, and in between is the great white shark's window of opportunity. The great white shark will swim vertically at approximately 40 miles an hour, enough to launch this animal completely out of the water. So, is the bite of a great white shark disproportionately small? Well, I can't say for sure, but we are fascinated with the power that this mouth can produce, and we have, to an extent, over-exaggerated the bite force of the great white shark. But by doing this, we have ignored the features that really make this animal unique. The reality of these animals is far more interesting and far more extraordinary than the fiction of these animals. The animal made famous by its mouth has a lot more to show us than just its mouth. It is an animal which has taken millions of years to perfect, something which is warm-blooded, something intelligent, and has a lot more going on than just what we see in the papers. In our media, we tend to portray these animals as mindless mouths, killing machines and slasher villains, something that would just swim up to anything and try and eat it, not with any thought or any intelligence. The great white shark is like most things that come out of the natural world. There's only so much we see in our day-to-day -day lives, and there's a lot more to see than meets the eye.